People think it snows in Colorado like crazy, but it's like 20, 30 days a year. And it warmed up a little bit. Windshield wipers took it right off. No big deal at all. It's my first like wintery, snowy trip though. I'm hoping the roads outside of this parking lot are good. But it's the first time I'm really driving in like snow. I've driven in ice before in like Gallup, New Mexico, whatever, but yeah, this is my first uh, winter test in Colorado for the van. Thankfully, I'm only driving like less than 10 minutes. I got to go to a VA appointment. Um, yeah, VA. I was in the military army for many years, and it was many years ago. Almost over 20 years ago, I was in the military, and I found out they did a bunch of my stuff wrong. Uh because the military, the army beat the crap out of me. I know it was, uh, <laughs> I still feel things from the army to this day. And it's, it's not a cash grab by any means, but I've been instructed by people to get my ass up to the VA, get checked out again. And uh, apparently it's way better now than it was all those years ago. So I'm doing that today. Trying to think if there's anything. I got a lot of stuff to do, man. I mean, a lot of stuff to do. Most of it's really boring, though. <laughs> so maybe this is the only thing that you'll see from today. Who knows? You know, life is one of those things. You never really know what's going to happen, and I like that. So that's such a. I guess it's not bad, but it's not good. I mean, look at this section right here. Oh well, drive slow. Don't slam on the brakes. Simple as that. Why is this idiot still on TV? So that was, I think, a colossal waste of time. Uh, like the army, really, like I said, it kicked my ass. I, um, I have neck and back, and you, know, you may think, oh, it's from your wrestling. No, this is before I even ever, ever wrestled. Um, and it's just those like little pains that become like chronic pains as you get older. It sucks. Uh, but the um, this they just looked at my sh my shins, my knees. Like that's the least of the issues. Like my neck and back are brutal. Uh, so I don't know what this was. This was just like I think I put in a different claim where the other stuff will be checked out. And I don't know. It just kind of uh, took about three hours of my day. It's three o'clock now and I'm freaking starving because you know I don't eat till one. At least the roads are better. Another YouTube show that I watch. I yes, I watch a lot of YouTube. Nikki Daventhal. I don't. I didn't realize, like, I, 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 I did a little stalking. I think she was, like, on The Bachelor. Maybe she was a cheerleader, too, or something. I, but now she lives in a Prius with her dog, which is sounds awful, but I get it. And she makes it work. I, I have to admit, I have kind of a crush. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I had to get out of the house today. I am not feeling good at all. Like, uh, it's really weird because my blood pressure has been perfect for like two weeks since I started this diet. And uh, today, it's just really high. And I've been lightheaded all day. I don't, this is really weird to me because I don't normally feel bad ever. I'm not sick, I'm not anything. I'm no chest pains, nothing. I feel great. Just lightheaded, a little dizzy. And I thought I just sat up too quick or something, but I don't know. Checked my blood pressure on my little blood pressure thing and it was just high and then I checked it again and it was even higher. So anyways, I'm just getting out of the house, enjoying the cold breeze, cold weather, gonna go to Lowe's. I have to buy some suction cups 
I'm looking for a new headlight lamp, which I think they have here, and who knows what else, but I just need to get out of the house. Need to get out. Sometimes you just gotta get out and get your blood pumping. I'm hoping that's the case. Uh, I'm not in the mood for any kind of medical stuff at the moment at all. Too much to do, way too much to do to be dealing with that crap. I've been snowed in for a couple days and I'm, uh, I've only left the house for the VA appointment. Ooh, hello, $39. I don't know if it's a good one, but... Hmm. Anyways, I'm just hoping to get my blood pumping, get some vitamin D from the sun, maybe buy something. <laughs> Always makes me feel better. Suction cups. Suction cups, suction cups. The hell, I've never bought a suction cup in my entire life. I don't know, do you see them? Light I want, and it's not these. It's like a strip. I've only seen them online. Eh. Yeah, I found some suction cups. I can't think of anything else I need at Lowe's. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of things I want, but you know. There's always things I want. I really need to invest in a small heater. Why can't this just be something you plug into the car? Like this would be kind of perfect, perfect size. <sighs> uh, but I think it'll drain the Jackery in like 10 minutes. And it definitely doesn't plug into the car. Hmm. I think I am gonna get this little small guy here. Wait, is this the 24 or is this 48? I don't want to spend 45 bucks on something I'll probably hardly ever use. Because if I'm parked outside of like someone's house or a business that I know, I can run a cord out the window and be nice and comfy warm and be a great little uh, backup plan. But I want a really small one like this guy. 30 bucks is cheap. 1500 watts, yeah, that'll definitely destroy a Jackery. Huh. All right, I think I got enough stuff. And everybody smells like cigarettes in here now. Quit smoking, people. It's really dumb. Place called Entertain Mart, which is basically that kind of stuff. I'm not feeling any better at all, so I'm just gonna go ahead and walk around here for a little while. I got an important phone call in about 20 minutes with uh, Renee Paquette or her managers, or probably just their managers. There's always fun stuff in here. Not really big on DVDs or CDs or even these kind of books, but I used to buy Funko Pops here all the time. Ooh, final Faith No More. Are you kidding me? I mean, I'm not gonna buy it, but that's awesome. Huh, maybe, maybe I will. It's a little pricey, but so cool. I probably played 80% of these when I was a kid. Ooh, Activision. Is this Activision? What is this? Definitely played that one.
Anyways, the main thing that I get here now are Rick and Morty comic books. Yes, I think I have all of them. They're supposed to tell me when they come in and put them in a secret box. So let's go see if there's anything in the secret box. That'll make me feel better. Oh, I got a couple, all right. series the heretics funny thing is, is i haven't even read any of these i just like the way they look they're nice little decorations i think oh it's already time to eat isn't it by the time i find some place i was just going to cook stuff at home but uh but uh but uh but uh but uh i think i'm going to just go ahead and find something while I'm out. Maybe something a little different, change up the diet. Maybe I'm just hungry, I don't know. I don't know. When's the last time I ate? Yeah, it's been a while. I'm not hungry, that's the funny thing is, is I'm not hungry, but maybe my body is, and I, my brain is just not telling it. I don't know what I wanna eat. Is it bad that there's a hearse behind me? Oh, it's passing me up, okay. Not feeling good, okay? <laughs> it's a really weird not feel good that I've never had before. Like I've never felt like I do right now. It's, it's weird and I kind of hate it. All right, gangsters, I'm still not feeling, I feel much better, but I don't feel great. I mean, it has to be food. Uh, I just don't get it. I feel weak and just dizzy, lightheaded, you know, all the stuff that you don't want to feel like when you're holding a knife. I'm gonna make some food. Tablespoon of butter in that one. Tablespoon of butter in that one. And before you judge me on the tablespoon of butter, it's Kerry Gold. It's, uh, it's a healthy fat. Look, you can eat it like ice cream. So I'm gonna make a steak and cheese breakfast burrito. And I know you're thinking, hey, Brandon, you can't have tortillas. Well, I guess I can. I can have folio ones. And these are made out of Parmesan cheese, so that's gonna be a little different. They didn't have the cheddar ones. All right, I'm gonna lay low on adding any kind of salt or seasoning to the beef. That looks good, doesn't it? Oh, you can't see nothing, can you? There you go. There you go. Maybe I'll just cancel the Comic-Con and just cook for everybody. probably asking me about the American cheese, aren't you? Ew, no, it's deluxe American cheese, which it still isn't like technically cheese, but as far as melting in eggs, there's nothing better. Uh, there's literally nothing better. It's so good. I want to make the best scrambled eggs, let them get started a little bit, cook them in Kerrygold butter, and smash them. As the cheese starts melting, smash it, get a spatula with holes in it. Trust me, the consistency is unreal. Don't let them just get brown. Don't let them do any of that stuff. Smash them. Smash them like they owe you money. So thank you for it. I doubled up on the folio to make it a little stronger. So right there is about 700 milligrams of sodium. Carnivore diet, you're not supposed to care about sodium, but I do because I have high blood pressure. I got about half of a half a carb of jalapenos gotta have something. Normally I'd have onions and potatoes and just you name it on a breakfast burrito. Sausage, ham, bacon, everything. I put as much stuff on a breakfast burrito as I can humanly put on it. A little steak and eggs action. A little more steak. Watch a little Van City Van Life. This, this came out. <laughs> Again, I wish this was a tortilla. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I wish this was a tortilla, I do. It's good though. I wish there was hash browns on here and all the other things I said. It's just, I wish there was salsa all over it, guacamole. Mm. It's really good though. Fantastic substitute. Mm. All right. 
today I feel way better. I'm still a little dizzy, a little lightheaded, but I got down to two, 229.8, which is the lightest that I've been literally in over a decade, which is crazy. Uh, I actually stepped on the scale like three or four times. I should have recorded it um, just to make sure it was all right. Of course, I had, you know, a cup of water, washed down some vitamins and stuff, made some cheeseburgers with just the meat and cheese and a little jalapeno. So immediately I'm back to 232, but that's cool because you have to eat. <laughs> you can't just not eat. This diet's restrictive enough. You, know, you got to at least eat what you want to eat. Um, I made sure to drink a lot of water. I think that was my problem yesterday. It was just, I think I also took my, uh, <clears throat> my blood pressure medication and my vitamin and stuff like that without eating. I, I'm going to start taking that later in the day when I eat because, uh, yeah, I hadn't eaten anything when I was feeling like crap yesterday, but I'm off to go get my kid and I, it's such a nice day today. It's freaking it's almost 60 degrees. Roads are clear. We've got a couple bucks in our pocket. I just want to go out and do some adventuring with the kid, man. It's I got to leave in two days, so I'm going to miss another few days of our, you know. Here's the thing. I've never missed a day ever unexcused absence, so to speak. And uh, the only time I've ever done that is when my last car broke down and it sucked. But, um, you know, I've never just like overslept or missed a day. Never once in almost 15 years now, and I'm pretty proud of that. But uh, lately I've been traveling so damn much that it's just, I don't know, man. I, I hate, it seems like, I know he's a teenager. He'll be 15 this year. I just, uh, I, you know, I want us to be close like we'd always been. And uh, I need to go find something for us to do today. Hello. Say hi. See, if you don't say hi, everybody thinks you're a dude. We are going to go see Jackass forever. I've seen, I've seen all of the um, Star Wars movies in the theater. Yes, that's how old I am. And now I will have seen all of the Jackass movies in the theater. That's my bragging rights. That's all I get to brag about. And having a cool kid. Yeah, probably almost ran into that pole, didn't you? <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, I, I kind of didn't I want you to, but I kind of wish you did. I steered into a little bit. Just a little bit. You want candy too? There's candy right there. It's your chance. This is what I get. Dash, pick me! You do know you're that popcorn. Dash, right? Dash is a character I made up. Dash. Give me that popcorn. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna eat all the meat. You can have all the stuff, other stuff, but I get all the meat on sticks. This is what I get for going out on a Saturday. It's too peoply. It is a 45 minute wait. So we are on a hunt. And he wants to go to Burger King, but it's not freaking happening. Are you dick. You just snowballed me. You're in so much trouble now. No, you are. You are a giant dicks. That's what you are. Sunny time. No, oh, I saw that. I saw what you did. I see what's in your hand. You're going to go in those bushes in a minute. <laughs> Stop trying to do a jackass. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I just threw a snowball at you. You're doing a jackass. Dicks. So I don't get my way, but he gets his. I don't even know if there, I mean, the meat here is terrible. So I don't even know if there is anything I can eat. So we tried Burger King and it was locked and it was a long drive through. Three cars. It was like six or seven cars. Three cars. Okay, I didn't want Burger King anyway. So we're gonna try either Culver's or In-N-Out. Which one do you think we'll get? Culver's. Okay. We usually have the shorter line. That's what we're going for. Any 
treacherous. All right, I can eat here. He likes it here. The door is open. Oh, well, thank you, sir. No line. It's working out good. It's working out really good. What have you done? Give me ketchup. I don't want ketchup. I cannot have the sugary ketchup. You made such a mess. Cheese, patties, and bacon. Want to switch? I have all your fries. Now. Ooh, we have chickens too. Still really good. I'm actually having a little difficulty here. I don't know what I can eat on this trip. I'm gonna be gone for eight days. That's, you know, 16 meals. I'm sure there's gonna be cheats. I've not cheated once this entire month, so I'm pretty proud of that, but, you know, when in Vegas, when in LA, when in Phoenix, and all the spaces in between. I'm not a fan of processed meats, but I'm trying to go zero carb on this deal. I don't want to stop at drive through windows and just get burger, meat, bacon, and cheese every time. So I really don't know what the hell to buy. I guess for a quick snack, I can have some hot dogs, but the sodium is crazy. I'm really thinking most of it's just going to be lunch, meat, and cheese. That's going to be in that little refrigerator. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, I wanted some dark chocolate. Um, you can actually have that on keto, not carnivore. But my plan was by the time I got back from this trip, I'd go to keto. And just in case I get any late night snacks, it'll curb my sweet tooth, which I've been having lately. Not bad, but lately. I need any of this crap. How are you? I'm awesome. I'm pretty much making the decision as we as I speak to you now to go keto on this trip instead of uh, straight up carnivore. I don't think I'll have the energy that I need. I don't think I'll have the uh, food availability. It's just too much, too damn hard. Like on keto, I can have like salsa, which is one gram of carbs, four sugar, zero sugar. I mean, or one gram of sugar. I can, I can do that. I definitely want to make a little charcuterie board that I can just grab when I'm eating or driving, eat while I'm driving. <clears throat> be a part of that. Yes. Favorite all-time cheese. Absolutely, please. Thank you. Messed up thing is I'm uh, feeling dizzy again. Sweet and dizzy. I think it's time to go to keto because I think my body's done all, it's, all it can do on the carnivore deal. Like right now, it's just lightheaded and it sucks. I hate it. All right, let's see what these things are. That looks gross. One serving, 900 milligrams of sodium. Here's your whole days of sodium. All right, they say to get 85% cacao or more. This is Baker's chocolate though, I mean. Also, it's not what I need. 100% cacao is gonna kick your ass. It's not very good. I'm actually uh, slightly jealous of people that just go out and buy all the candy and chips and pop and everything that just stick all that in their cart and junk food and white castles and stop at every fast food restaurant in the world. I'm very jealous because uh, maybe the jealous isn't the word. I'm more uh, angry because I really just can't do that anymore. But I'm learning the tricks and the trades. And I think, uh, I think I'm gonna be all right. I've lost so much weight and I hate to turn back now. I really would. It just uh, would make no sense at all. I'm gonna try a couple different ones of these. This one's 86. 
cacao. And of course, oops, sorry. I honestly think I've gotten everything I can get out of Safeway. There's really nothing here. And on the road, I can buy like these little chickens and stuff and I'm not worried about it. First of all, there's no seas in Colorado, so why are the gulls here? Why are you guys hanging out in the Safeway parking lot? There's no food on the ground. And it's the middle of winter. It's supposed to fly south. Stupid gulls. I didn't even know we had seagulls here. Dumb. So I haven't been filming a ton today. I'm uh, watching Rick and Morty season five on Hulu. Gotta love it. Turkey burger with cheese and a little bit of feta. Water, still lightheaded. It's one o'clock now, so I can finally eat. It's close enough to one o'clock. Everything's packed up, everything's charging. I'm pretty well set for tomorrow. So I think that does it for this episode. Oh, it is sat up too fast. This is getting bad. Hopefully, all will be well on this trip. I leave early in the morning. I'm gonna miss my kitty. I always miss my kitty. I always feel bad when I leave her, but we've gotten through it before, baby girl. Gave her a good brushing. Yeah, we've gotten through this before. Yeah, people are gonna come see you. Sorry, I gotta work. You say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Oh boy.